saying. All right, kids, the reviews are in. This is, uh, we are number one in the demo with uh, baby zebra fin finches. Uh oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, Nori writes, uh, TV show staff, my new baby zebra finch escaped to the living room this morning and flew straight to the TV. He was already watching you on the computer practically since birth, <laughs> huh? but he enjoys the TV show, too. Tell Al Gore your show has fans in the bird kingdom. Oh, oh wow. That's awesome. We put that up on our Facebook page, didn't yes. we? Yes, we That's did. That's the little baby zebra finch oh. watching us yesterday. Yep. Isn't that oh. cute? Fan of Kern. That's, that's our demo. There you go. Baby zebra finches. There you go. Number one. All right. Uh, oh, but I have to say, someone sent me, thank you, Salon.com. Mm -hmm. Future husband, Daniel Rigney, wrote a great piece discovering the Stephanie Rigney. Miller show. Did you read this? I did. Okay. You didn't, Jim. You don't know what I'm talking about. Have you discovered the Stephanie Miller show yet, he writes? I'm not going to read the whole thing. Just the nice parts about it. Um, when I stumbled into the very first week of something called the Stephanie Miller show, that usually doesn't end well mm. for me. No. Normally, that's like a, uh, we're an acquired taste. Yeah. Okay. Like Vegemite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, on the current network co-founded by Al Gore, Miller's show known as Talking Liberally resembles a progressive alternative to Rush Limbaugh's grim and angry rant fest, except it's smart, witty, entertaining, and a lot classier. Wow. That is the what, first time What part of the show did he listen to? been called yeah. classies. Thank you, Daniel. He obviously had an expurgated version of the show. <laughs> he says uh, their sense of humor is more like a scalpel than Rush's and less like a flaming machete. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I think Stephanie and her co-hosts are the funniest comedy team to come down the political pike in years. Oh. Why, thank you, Salon.com. Not since Olsen and Johnson has there been a comedy team. Not so. since Turner and Hooch <laughs> has there been such a h hilarity. Uh, all right, and then Robert uh, says, Dear Miss Miller, that's like you can tell a first-timer. Yeah, that's not, Yeah. that usually never Just generally, ends I'm not, well. uh, I, I don't get the respect that I'm entitled to. Uh, Robert writes, uh, Dear Miss Miller, I had never heard of you till I just caught your show on uh, Current TV for the first time. I was a huge Imus fan back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. I must say, you're uh, not only are you a lot sexier, that's always a woman's sexier best... Sexier than Don Imus. Yeah, wow, that's, that's a woman's uh, best, uh, <laughs> best compliment ever, that you're prettier than Don Imus. <laughs> oh. He's still my heart. Uh, but your show is so much better than him. his. Oh, thank you. Keep up the good work, and I would love to see you dressed as Wonder Woman. Robert was entertaining a fantasy, because we were... I think you should dress as one of them. Yeah. Well, Dave, we learned a new one because of my one.